it's all well and good to extol the benefits of exotic game dishes, but it is another thing altogether when the animal is painted up right in front of you. Can you stomach it? In our previous clip, we explored two different kinds of exotic game meats available in Singapore and the health benefits they offer. So in this clip, we will be putting these game dishes through a taste test. Personally, I'm always game to try new foods and I will try everything at least once. First up, I sampled the veritable crocodile feast placed before me during my visit to Old Geelang. Accompanying me on my very first crocodile tasting session is croc expert Katrine Ong, the operations manager of the restaurant. So let's see what fear factor level the dishes turn out to be. From level 1 easy cheesy to level 5 only those with stomachs of steel. Uh, no, I've never tried crocodile ever. Yeah, okay, maybe we can start off with this something simple which you don't really see the crocodile. Okay. So you can try something. Okay, what is this? Okay, this one is the crocodile maw. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's like fish maw? Yeah, some, uh, we use fish maw way to cook with the back fin from crocodile. See, actually the consistency of this uh, crocodile fin is very similar to a beef tendon. So... Actually, if you didn't tell me, I wouldn't have guessed that this is crocodile. So it's actually quite tasty. I, I don't mind it actually. Okay, Shrim, what do I have in front of me here? Okay, right actually, now... I can see it. It's a paw. Yes, right. So some of them, they say it tastes something like chicken claw. Mm. Yeah, but this one is more... Uh, the texture is better than chicken claw. Mm. It's also full of uh, gelatin, so it's, the consistency is similar to uh, sea cucumber. Well... If you didn't tell me, I would know that it is some sort of claw because as you can see, you can actually see the whole claw in this dish. Some people might uh, be a bit apprehensive, but uh, once you try it, it's really not different from uh, sea cucumber. With the claw out of the way, the next dish was presented to me. Crocodile tail. This is how the tail looks like raw, and this is the finished dish. Again, it tastes just like sea cucumber, right? It's full of collagen, so ladies... Uh, this would be a popular dish with the ladies. Ah. Very good for skin, right? There's a bit of meat in the tail. And if you ask me, the meat tastes like chicken. After these challenging dishes, the next dish might look relatively safe to you. Just by looking at it, you'll never guess its key ingredients. We have the tongue mm -hmm. and the meat. Now I'm going to try uh, crocodile meat. Lah. I hate to be cliche, but it does taste like chicken. It, the meat itself... Uh, it isn't fishy and uh, the consistency is, is like poultry so I think it's uh, quite easy for people to accept, right? The croc liver was mixed. If you ask me, croc liver tastes almost exactly like pork. To me, there isn't a discernible difference in either flavour or consistency. And then, it's time for the tongue. This is the tongue, right? Yeah. It's almost crunchy, right? It's almost a crunchy consistency yes, kind of thing. And uh, it's okay actually. Actually, if you didn't tell me, I wouldn't know it's crocodile tongue. And I'll continue eating it. So, actually, it's okay. Crocodile tongue. Same tongue, nothing to be afraid about. <laughs> so, that's it for crocodile. But if the dishes presented to you so far are not appetizing to you, perhaps the next dish would be. After all, it looks like beef steak. Presenting an Australian outback favourite, grilled kangaroo loin. This delectable looking dish was prepared by Chef Michael Wong of the Boomerang Bistro and Bar. So here I have in front of me uh, the kangaroo steak and I'm going to try it. I mean if you didn't tell me, I would think this is uh, beef. It looks exactly like beef if you ask me. Okay, I'm dipping a bit of sauce. Get a bit of sauce in. And uh, here we go, I guess. Okay, so kangaroo steak tastes very very similar to a beef steak uh, it is just slightly tougher if you're worried that this is a very gamey dish uh, it's actually really not it's very similar to beef and if this is a healthier alternative to a beef steak uh, I would eat this quite often actually the kangaroo steak looks absolutely harmless and even appetizing in appearance so it scores lowly on the fear factor chart in fact it's so unscary it's rated zero just make sure you don't have pictures like these in front of you while you are eating it. For more on exotic game meat dishes and other health benefits, watch our other clips.